Hi, and welcome to a second video on my uh, Mi Arm robot, which is controlled by means of a PS3 wireless controller and uses a PyCon Zero uh, interface board by Fortronics to control the four servos which operate the Mi Arm. Now, since last time, I've added one or two interesting features to the program to make it much more useful and interesting to use. Um, if we look at the controller, uh, previously we just used the joystick here to adjust the two arms there and the four buttons on the front to close and open the um, grip and to pan the um, arm left and right. Um, and by doing this, we could actually carry out a sequence of instructions, but once we'd finished, that was it. I've now added the facility to uh, have a record mode on the controller, uh, which I can initiate by these two buttons here. The arrowhead there will place it into record mode. That will stop the recording. And this button here will replay the sequence of instructions which have been carried out. There are one or two other features I've added. Um, first of all, um, pressing the button on the left-hand controller there will reset the um, arm to its uh, initial position and secondly pressing the right hand button here will save the recorded sequence of instructions onto the SD card and the Pi. This means that if you then stop the program and restart it you can subsequently reload the uh, program from the SD card by pressing this button and then subsequently replay it there. So having described that rather rapidly let's have a look at it in action. The program is uh, loaded and ready to go. I'll just take the keyboard and all I have to do is to press the enter key to start the program running, which it's now doing. And uh, we can see that we can uh, move the arm around as before, uh, panning left and right, um, opening and closing the grip, um, raising the top arm and raising and lowering the bottom arm there. So those are the features which we've got there. and. Uh, just to remind you, if I press the left hand button there, it will reset the arm to its starting position. So let's start recording a sequence. I'm going to try and pick up this Lego object here, which I'm placing on this red marker. I've taken the precaution of uh, attaching the arm by means of some blue tack onto the uh, table here so that it doesn't move around too much. I get a bit of juddering on it, which I'm not quite sure what's causing that, but uh, I think we can still live with that. So let's put this into record mode, like that, and start the sequence. I'm going to come round to the left there. I'm going to open the grip. I'm going to lower the arm and try and see whether we can um, pick this up. It's in position. Close the arm. Let's raise it up. Let's swing round to the straight before head position and let's try and put it on the ground there. We'll open the grip, we'll retract the arm, raise it and we'll swing it round to the right so that we're well away from the um, object and then we'll go back and pick it up again and put it back where it came from. So let's see if we can do that. So raise, lower that, go forward, lower it forward a bit, about there. And we'll close the grip, we'll pick it up, we'll swing it round and we'll try and put it back down on the same spot from which it came. About there. And we'll open the grip arm, we'll show that a little further down. Grip arm open. And we'll raise that up, put it back to where it was roughly, somewhere around about here. And we'll just press the reset button and then we'll stop this from recording. So we carried out the sequence there. And now what I'm going to do is to press the, uh, first of all, going to press this button to record that onto the SD card. You won't see anything happen. I'm going to press this button, which will replay the sequence and we'll put the uh, controller down there just to show that there's no hands involved and it all continues automatically. Carrying out the same sequence which we've just done which is to go and pick up this object like this. 
swing it round and put it in front of the arm here, lower it again, open the grip, retract the arm, raise it, swing it round to the right, then swing it back again and pick it up and put it back where it came from. So we swing back again, we lower the arm, and we close the grip, pick it up, swing it round and try and put it back where it came from as best we can. And then we put the arm back to its central position and that's the whole process terminated. What I'm going to do now is to take the keyboard and I'm going to press Control c to stop the program from running. Uh, you can see if I try and use any controls on here it's completely dead. It's off. Um, I'm going to take the keyboard again. I'm going to go up arrow to get back to the command line. Uh, which runs the program, press the enter key to start it off again and you can see that we've now got control. I'm going to press the replay button but of course we've, got, we've lost the program because it's not in memory but we can retrieve it if I press that button there and now if I just reset the controller to its starting position there and then press the replay button again it will start the whole sequence again. It's retrieved it off the SD card and it's going to start the whole sequence running again like this. I'm just going to stop the program from running there uh, so we did run through the whole thing again but I hope you can see that the program is now a lot more interesting and we've got a truly um, uh, true robot control that we can program and then replay on a series of tasks. Thank you for watching.